I call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. At your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's grills hang out at a barrio. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. We can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Why Sammy sound like that? No one else knows you here. Tread carefully. Who's the new guy? The cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss. Paul. But that don't mean you're good with me or anyone else. Bro, what's up? So, some kind of problem? Bro, what you gonna do, bro? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to? I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny's first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. Molotov. Classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Got some swing, hey, don't you? Don't work out for use. I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Damn! Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck there, Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> oh, we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, sure, but Polly, yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. 
Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. This was that. Don't let me catch you loafing off again. This was that whipping bro. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Oh I boy. I was trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. New supplier. You got any cars you got a torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. If you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but. Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. It's not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure. Sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. That's a good idea. Bro, what's up with this car, bro? Look like it's supposed to be shooting smoke out the. Oh! Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Well, I can't drive, I guess. We're getting onto Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though, in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in the wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Man, he ain't lying. All right, we are. Okay, it's close by. Bro, this car is up. It's a little putt putt, bro. Bro, park the car, bro. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. Would you, you watch gotta it, sneak please? in and wreck the car. Bro, what That's you best. gonna do, bro, with that sure. tight-ass flat cap? Why are you coming with? Let me see if you get shot. Sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. I like it. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chum busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. We're real good at distracting. That's the best thing. Look at that car over there. What the hell? Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep lookout here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's 
He choked that boy out quick as hell. Give me that body. I oh, know. So let's get to these cars. Take it. Yeah, that out. So let's get to these cars. Take it back. <laughs> Motor really <laughs> got you pissed. Huh? Someone's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? Put you Back down. down, time! You got some kind of death wish? Smack up! Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. I'm dead. Okay. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Block her dead. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and ghost fire in North Park. Take it. Okay, it's right here, Morello's place. Way. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. Don't let him get away. Come back, you bastards. <laughs> Ain't no way. Y'all need to relax. I know they're not paying you good. I know they're not paying y'all good. Mm, mm. Oh, there we go. I got my drift. I think I lost them. Yeah, we out of there. We out of there. Head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Drive careful. We don't need the attention. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. It's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take. Drive careful. We don't need the attention. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor. Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> to the car I sent you out with. Dump stick. Why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. That's tough. Let's go see what the boss got to say, man. He's still with you then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. 
See, that's the difference between me and Moroa. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Moroa is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tommy. You abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Okay. Welcome to the family. Mr. Angelo. You just let him in the family Excellent. that quick? No, I'm starving. That's crazy. Hey, Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Mm. We do one more, we do one more. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> so what did I know? Look at Tom. Look at Tom. Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. They out there boxing. Let's see what the boss talking about. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. I know it's a mob game, but why the violins? Hello, uh, they yeah, yeah, yeah. And over Tom, the dialogue. He to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just 
the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. What's that, a little papper? You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Ain't no bullets in it. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? No, it's not at me, you moron. I didn't shoot it at you, fool, but I will. I opened the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing. Need to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shoot yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Let's finish. Yeah, all right. Now I'm behind your desk. Can you give me this? Give me this. Give me that collectible. Whoa, there. Okay. I'm out of here, man. Hey, would you burn powder out there? Need more lead, more guns. Come see Uncle Vin. You know where I'll be. What's up, bro? Look, you guys need to be careful. Okay. I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what good is the motor to him? You, you, you know how to get, get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Come on, Tita Tommy. Okay, it's a car. We got it. Have a good day, for fellas. Thank you, Ralphie. I like Ralphie. Thank you, Ralph. Is the car going to start? First, we got out. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Oh, I don't want no radio. Wait a minute. Nope. You ain't getting me. You know what? I'm cool. I don't want to get that out of here. They yeah, try to get me out of here for some 1930s music. Bro, listen to this horn. Oh, yeah, lady, you almost got. It. Come on now. Yeah, move, bro. Bro, you gonna stop? Ain't no way. Watch out, bro. In front of police, ain't no way. Nobody got time for that. Hey, do not forget to like and subscribe, man. Do not. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> well, it's good to hear, Al. I just remember the better I don't know if you can do fall obligation or make payments on your green loan and your amount of now for this. Ooh, we. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. 
Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worried. I mean, how can we... Where's the money? Ron, fetch us! It's on the table, brown envelope! So what you just... Oh, I know what you said. Okay. All right. That's why you look like one of them dolls. One of them... Boy, look, look here. I, boy, I ain't gonna disrespect. I respect my elder. What is... You know what? I just go, y'all. I just go, bro. Give me that, man. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mother. Huh? Uh. I'll be selling. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Palo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head oh into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Oh my god, I like his car. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminding too. Bro, po po, police, bro. Look, look, don't get on me, bro. I'm about to hit you with the sauce. Yeah, bro, keep it moving. Chinatown. I like how they did this. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Mm. Bro, if you don't get that Looney Tunes horn up out of here. They gonna drive past me talking about some. Like, this is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. I show a little respect, just like the rest of them. He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. You just gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Damn. Damn. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook. Guy ended up in a wheelchair. The police just drove past. Oh, now my oh man, he comes. come on! Huh? He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hot. I don't know. 
Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Boy, oh boy. They talk, man. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. No one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee-deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. I'm done. They talking crazy to Tom right okay. now. There it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Why is my green screen doing that? Ah, Tom! Tom, I, I took one! Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. information out of it. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Where my pole at? Yup. <sighs> Let's get it then. Ain't no back way. Where you going, Jit? Shut up. Shut up. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm coming in through the back. Where you at, Sammy? Damn, this the closet. I done walked in the closet.
And I got a knife. Boy! Come get you some. Come get you some. Bro, hold on. Wait a minute. That's crazy, G. Where he come from? The closet? What's up, Fully? What's up? Oh, man. I'm playing on hard, y'all. I don't play games on easy. Hold on. Let's get to Sammy, though. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. All right, bro, what you trying to do, bro? Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. You sitting there a shot. I'm going to get the money. He blowing that six shooter, boy. Out the window, though. I got him, I got him. Hold on, bro. I feel like something wrong here. Wait a minute. I knew something was wrong. I might just keep the music on. Land it, land it. Let's go. What's up? What? Reload, bro. Where y'all at? What's up? 
That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Boy. We're near routine. We did that, fellas. Let's see. Let's see what's up. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street. Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. And he did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. All right, y'all, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying, hey, holla at me. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Joey Yo. was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Yeah. Mm.